Hi and welcome to Cumbric Classroom with me Dwayne. Today I'm going to teach you how one subject can lead to another subject and can teach you many other things. Learning should be a lifelong process. It's not just about getting qualifications or getting a job. There are so many other things that you can do with independent study. We should carry on learning forever. Myself at 34 years old, I've never really left the classroom environment. I like learning so much that I now have five professional qualifications all in different fields, in different subjects, some for my own interest and some for professional reasons. I love history, I'm a history fanatic. Within history, you can learn many other subjects, they're all connected. For example, if you to ask, who was Christopher Columbus? Christopher Columbus was the man who sailed to the Americas from Spain. If you have no idea where Spain or the Americas are, you would learn geography from that fact. You would learn which ocean he sailed across, how big is the ocean, is a mathematical question. How long did it take? There's maths involved. How many men were involved? There's science involved. How did he get there? What kind of boats did he use? How did the Americas change once the Spanish arrived there? Within geography, you also have language. You learn the languages and the cultures, so there's sociology involved in geography as well. There's religion, history links back to religion, links to politics, politics leads to debate. Within history, you can learn media. Media's changed, the ideas that we share has changed over the years, now with information technology. So there you go, information technology. While you're learning all these subjects, your skill in English is gonna improve. You're gonna see new words that you might not have seen before, and your reading level will improve massively. If we were to talk about the car, if you're enthusiastic about engines, for example, this would be a science. Within the science of engines, you would learn mathematics. For example, how many revolutions per minute? How many times does the piston move? How many litres is the car? You could even link the science of the car back to history and back to geography. When was the car invented? Who was the first mass producer of the car? Who invented the diesel engine? The diesel engine was invented by a guy called Benz. Benz was going to sell the diesel engine to the British, so German agents had him killed. Within there is history. He was killed in the ocean, so there you go, that's geography that it links back to. So there you see all of it's connected. Over here we have what's called the trivium. The trivium is logic, grammar and rhetoric. The ability to think for yourself, to speak about what you're thinking and to be able to share those ideas that you're thinking. Now it's important to have a good trivium. The better our trivium, the better our communication skills. The more we communicate, the more that we learn new things, the more that we share ideas and the smarter that we get. But study isn't just about school, it isn't just about the qualification, it's about becoming smart as an individual. There are many situations in your day to day life when you're going to need to learn to be smart. There are many situations in your day-to-day -day life when you're going to need to study something independently. There's many situations within employment where you'll need to study something independently, sometimes for your own health and safety to protect us from harm. So there you go, that's how all the subjects connect together. Keep looking at the Cumbric Classroom page, pick up some new things. If you need help, we're here, just drop us an email or pop in and see us. Thanks very much for watching.